start of the lobster season in southwestern Nova Scotia is on hold for now. Dumping day, as it's known, has been delayed due to weather concerns. But that part of the province in the southwest of Nova Scotia, that is home to the country's most lucrative fishery. There are 1,800 boats ready to sail out just as soon as they can. Again this year, as he always does for us, Brett Ruskin covering things, and he's in Sambro, Nova Scotia. Give us a little bit. They can see the traps are all ready to go. If the weather cooperates, Brett, what's happening so far? Good morning, Heather. That's right. Dumping day has been delayed. So folks here are just checking their equipment, making sure everything is ready for tomorrow once the season starts. And this delay is due to safety reasons, waiting for better weather conditions. And, and safety really is top of mind for these fishing crews, as well as the people whose job it is to offer help if something should go wrong out on the water. And so I got an up close look at exactly how they prepare for those possible rescues during the lobster season. Take a look. All right, it's gonna be loud, it's gonna be a little scary. Okay. That's me being hoisted up out and over the Atlantic Ocean to a cormorant helicopter flying overhead. It's how rescue crews might pick up someone in distress from a fishing boat and carry them to safety. A service fishing crews hope they'll never need, but rescuers are always ready to provide. Hey, am I talking to you? Each one of those rescues starts here, the Joint Rescue Coordination Centre in Halifax. Each year, this one office handles more than 2,000 cases. If your ship is sinking and you dial 911, this is where your call ends up. Maybe the vessel's taking on water, and our C-130 can come in and maybe drop a pump to them to, to help them with the water egress. That's what happened in 2016 with this fishing vessel. Watch how this pump, released from a C-130 Hercules flying overhead, drifts towards the ship taking on water and lands immediately next to it for the crew to grab. That's just one way they offer help, coordinating a fleet of Coast Guard crews, local responders, helicopters and planes. It's very much a, a work together atmosphere in here to uh, get the job done. And getting the job done is extra challenging at the start of lobster season. The first couple hours are always the most harrowing. There's always most boats that are leaving at the same time. Everybody wants to get out at the same time. Um, the vessels are really chocker blocked full of all the, the traps. So if something goes wrong out there, it's training here that will help rescue crews be ready. It was back down to the boat for me with the Coast Guard team and helicopter crew parting ways, each ready for their next mission. And now tomorrow, once dumping day arrives, they're going to have those helicopters on high alert. They'll have boats ready and a Hercules aircraft in the air flying over the fishing crews as they get started for the season. Again, should anything go wrong out on the water. Heather. Right. We'll be covering that tomorrow and hopefully they will be able to begin their season. But come back to that video because that was quite extraordinary. You dangling over the ocean, hoisted up into that helicopter. Just tell us a little bit more about the experience and, and what it was like for you. Yeah, I mean, I hadn't been personally ever plucked off of a moving boat to dangle out over the Atlantic Ocean up to a helicopter. That was new for me, but it, it wasn't new for these crews. The, the professionalism of these crews was just so high. It was just another day at the office for them, really dangling from these wires going up and down between the helicopter and the boat. So that really was probably the most impressive part of all of it, just the professionalism of these rescue crews ready to provide help at a moment's notice, Heather. Well, it gives us a very uh, interesting perspective on preparations, and thank you for it. Brett Ruskin, just ahead of dumping day in southwestern Nova Scotia. Thank you, Brett.